Hello and welcome to Food for Thought, insights for busy leaders and managers in just 150 seconds. Today I'd like to talk about team behaviour and the double-edged sword of team behaviour because the holy grail of all teamwork and team behaviour is to have a clear focus and purpose for the team which means that there's good collaboration within the team because people want to work together and you get high performance and that's the holy grail. Brilliant. All good stuff. But that creates an in-group and while there's lots of good things about creating an in-group like trust and improved empathy within the group and also that creates a sense of resilience because they're a strong group, that in-group creates a lot of oxytocin within the group and a byproduct of that is that it creates an out-group as well, everyone outside of the group or particularly other teams that are in competition with your group. So that creates distrust with those team members, those out-group groups insensitivity towards them. So if something bad happens to one of that team, you might even feel a lack of sensitivity, or if the team fails, you'll actually feel even a sense of reward because they've gone down, which means it's better for you. And a lack of cognitive diversity. So this means that the team begins to get groupthink, and there's a lack of challenge within the group. If someone has an idea or a, a, an opinion within the group, other people will take on that opinion within the group without question often without question. If someone from an out-group creates a statement or gives some feedback or gives some advice, they will naturally be distrusted. So this fundamental nature of an in-group creates an out-group and that can cause problems. So the solution that I want you to think about is whenever you have a team, and especially if it's a well-bonded, strong team, watch out because you need to ensure that you find commonality with people outside of the group. Connect with them, understand them, find what you share with them so that you can actually include and seek their input. It'll make the group wiser, make your group wiser. And, you know, challenge the thinking. Be relentless about challenging your own thinking within the group. When everyone agrees, you know it's an alarm bell. Something might be going wrong. And also manage your emotions because within the group you can feel very cozy and then when a challenge comes or when something comes from outside you're going to get your emotions stirred up and you need to be able to manage and regulate your emotions by staying calm and using your prefrontal cortex to do that so when it comes to team behavior stay curious